Within BSF, the battery materials business is one that has significant growth expectations. There's a huge trend toward individual mobility, especially in urban centers. At the same time, people are becoming very conscious of the ability to reduce emissions. So how to solve those two things? You look at e-mobility as being the answer. You have seen a lot of announcements from US-based OEMs around the investments they're looking to make to convert their production from internal combustion engine to e-mobility. What that also means is the North American market has to build this entire ecosystem to enable and support that change. And that's where we come in with having the materials that can enable that growth and those changes. Our cathode active materials and our chemistry are the key enabler to achieving both the performance and the cost objectives. That's what we do in our R&D and our application development is trying to find how to use different raw materials, different metals that are used as feedstocks into these products. When you look at the, the chemistry of the cathode materials, it's really the main lever you have for impacting key properties of the batteries. And those properties are what enables things like longer vehicle driving ability, shorter charging times. They're really customized to achieve the right performance and the right cost structure for each customer. And this is also why it's critical for us to have a presence in all three regions of the world. What we're looking to do is leverage the experiences we've had in successfully supporting our customers in Asia and in Europe and bring that knowledge here in North America and then further invest in our customer relationships, our know-how development and our production capacities here in the region. In this market space, things tend to change very quickly. As e-mobility grows and develops, the technologies that will be needed in the future are very different than the ones that are in place today. So we as BSF, we're not only developing solutions for our customers for next year, but we're also looking ahead and we're collaborating to develop what technologies will be needed in 2030 and beyond. BASF, we create chemistry.